About 15 years ago, when my son started kindergarten, we just fell in love with this little public elementary school and I realized what a unique place it was. And so I dove in on the PTA there. When my children started at California School, I got involved with the PTA initially. We had a California School Foundation. I had a lot of experience in the nonprofit world with the Junior League of Orange County, California, so it was a good match. What I really found that I loved was getting to know the children and the families and kind of being a bridge between the school and home. A busy day for me is volunteer for lunch duty. There are days where we are volunteering to help kids open lockers at the beginning of the year, supporting the staff in picture day, running fundraisers. So we have to work with a lot of different arms, you know, to make it all happen. There's a lot to go on, but it's a labor of love. We brought science and technology and we did an annual fundraiser. We raised close to $40,000 and we bought 45 new computers and we just did the whole computer lab. We had a drama director who brought two drama programs, the upper grades in the fall and then the, the younger ones in the spring and also music and instruments and wanted to kind of get them going and move them on towards middle school and upward to high school and we wanted the whole program to roll all together. We have annual events that we fundraise so that we can give money to the schools. We've done various things from uniforms and band equipment to help build the marching band at Estancia High School to simply paying for SAT tests, books and equipment and computers. And we are bringing in those extra things to make the experience for kids wonderful. I did a big study and knew that kids from the three to six o'clock range, if they're not somewhere, they're doing something else. We were able to get those employees to be at the teen center. I am on a club water polo team board for my youngest son. And those are things, again, that aren't funded, that we have to step in as parents and make sure our kids get. We knew making our aquatics program a 501c3 nonprofit would benefit because anyone who donated money to the program, it was a tax write-off. So then what we did was we did this broadened blanket that oversees all of the arms of every boosters group at Estancia, and anyone can be involved. I've been to Sacramento and spoken to legislators and we really need to champion for the schools and the teachers and be one voice. I was very honored in 2013 to be awarded the Honorary Service Award. It's kind of like the icing on the cake, but for me I've always felt like I did it for everybody, it wasn't for me. Volunteering is just the greatest. I've been able to see all these children that I've known since kindergarten up through high school now and graduating and it's been the greatest gift for me but it's really, I think everyone wins, the community, just everybody. I'm going to probably cry if I say how I feel. <laughs> I've been extremely blessed in my adult life to be able to stay home with my children and not everybody's lucky enough to do that. And because I get to do that, I'm able to enhance the lives of other children. When I first started out, my neighbors didn't send their kids to our neighborhood school, and now they do. If I can know that I've played a little part in making these schools as great as they are, then I feel like I've accomplished something.